November 30th, 2022, the world changed forever. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has been democratized and made accessible to the public for free through a tool called ChatGPT. Now, you may have heard of ChatGPT. Open AI, artificial intelligence, their new technology, GPT-4. Why do you think it's captured people's imagination? I think people really have fun with it and they see the possibility and they see the ways this can help them, this can inspire them, this can help people create, help people learn, help people do all these different tasks. And it is a technology that rewards experimentation and use in creative ways. For those who don't know, what are you? I am Assistant, a large language model trained by OpenAI. We've already seen AI tackle other creative disciplines like music and art with programs that can create songs or paintings in the style of great masters. In engineering, architecture and design, AI-based software has emerged and became much more powerful in recent years. An example for that is generative design, which can create a multitude of solutions to a problem in a short period based on predefined criteria. Hey everybody and welcome back to a new episode of AI for Engineers. In this series, we are talking about technologies, tools and discuss topics that facilitate the life of us engineers. First off, let's define what AI is in the first place. Artificial intelligence refers to the ability of machines to learn from data recognize patterns and make decisions based on that data. That is, data collected in the past but remains unused, data that is being collected during test campaigns at this very moment, or data that will be collected in the future as new revolutionary products emerge. In the context of test campaigns, where we see the biggest ROI, AI can help build smarter test plans, validate test data quickly to avoid costly and time-consuming test runs, understand and predict component failure, or even calibrate highly nonlinear systems to meet performance and regulatory requirements. Tasks that might be difficult for us engineers to accomplish in an accurate and fast manner. With the examples just mentioned and the rapid movement of AI advancement, it's of course understandable why people might be worried about the future of engineering. In this short video, I'm going to explore with you this topic together and see what the future of engineering might look like. For that, let's travel back for half a century into the past where technical drawings required the skills of draftsmen to create them. As we see today, this task has been almost completely digitalized and automated. What was the result? Freeing up a lot of time and resources for the engineer to focus on other, more important tasks. As with any technological advancement, new jobs and tasks have emerged. In particular, the need for engineers has grown. These professionals are freed from tedious tasks of drawing and copying technical drawings, for example, and can instead focus on more high-level tasks that require critical thinking and experience of the engineer. This shift has been mostly positive, making jobs safer, for example, if the AI tool allows so-called sanity checking of high-dimensional spaces for complex systems, but is also more fulfilling as repetitive tasks can be finally automated and the engineer focus on what matters the most. In addition, AI can also help engineers optimize designs more quickly and accurately than they could by hand and sometimes even with physics-based models that are based on complex assumptions and the engineer's expertise. Keep in mind, data collected from the real world does not lie and extracting knowledge from that data can save engineers a lot of time and headache. Last, but certainly not least, AI can help engineers by providing them with better access to information and even allow them to test for regulatory requirements to ensure that their work meets industry standards in a matter of seconds once the AI model has been trained. So, while AI may not replace engineers entirely, it will definitely change the way engineers work. As AI technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more integration of AI into engineering workflows. This means that engineers will need to adapt to these changes and learn how to work alongside AI to make the most out of this technology. We have seen that a tool that is easy to use works easily with millions of data points on top of being collaborative in nature is the perfect solution for organizations. In the future, engineers will remain the domain experts and know their products better than anyone else. So why build a solution from scratch when a tailored solution like Monolith already exists where more than 20 people in the R&D department work on a day-to-day -day basis to facilitate the work for you engineers? Not AI will replace us or you, but an engineer using AI will. AI will usher in the golden age when engineers will be able to focus on the fun things and the AI will support us. Let me know in the comments what you think about the future of engineering. Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Doesn't matter, just let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest videos from OneLift. Bye.